Hey guys, what's up? Joko here again. It's been a while since my last video because things have been pretty crazy these past few months. I've actually been gigging a lot with my guitar instrumental band, aka the Joko Band, as well as my new band, Chindetera. I had a couple of session gigs here and there, and I went on a short trip to Europe for the Guitar Summit 2023. I met up with some friends and I met some really cool people there. I also visited the Choptons headquarters in Italy. That was a fun trip for sure, but now I'm back and I also have some new 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 X gear that I want to show you in this video. And I have to say, pardon the pun, these babies are awesome to the core. In this rig are some of the new new releases from the new X Core series stump boxes and yeah, they're just awesome. I'm going to show you each pedal but first I'm gonna run through how I set up this really cool rig. Alright, so this is my rig but first I want to show you this one. And honestly, I haven't seen anything like this pedal before. But if you have seen anything like it, let me know in the comments below. This is the New X B8. This baby is a tuner, a wireless guitar system, a DI, and get this. It also has a volume boost, and you can also use it as a gain boost here. And yeah, this pedal is really cool. So this is the pedal itself, this is the receiver, and here on my strap, is the transmitter. Yeah, it's hooked up to my strap, connected to my GOC Illumina. And yeah, this is a really, really awesome device. So anyway, this baby has an effects loop. So I put the whole rig inside of the loop here. So this is the send and this is the return. So I could use this as a DI. Yeah, the DI is here in the back. As you can see, there's an XLR cable connected to it. So yeah, this is the whole setup. First, I set up the b 8 foot switch as a boost. As you can see, I press on the pedal. It says boost. So you can set it up however you like. You could set it up as your tuner. You could also set it up as your boost right here. For now, I set it up as a boost. So it's one click away. Then if you want to activate the tuner, just hold the foot switch and there you go. And it also works vice versa. So yeah, the loop starts with the queen of tone. Yeah, and it ends with the verb core. All right, so that's the rig. Oh, also for the B8, it also has an unbalanced out right here. If you want to connect it to an amp or a stage monitor, an FRFR speaker, whatever you like. For now, it's connected to my new X Mighty Space. I'm using it as a monitor for this video. And the balanced out is going straight to my audio interface. Yeah, that's the whole rig. Now let's go to the Queen of Tone right here. All right, so the Queen of Tone is a dual overdrive in the new X Verdugo series. So you have two drives in one. You have the new X Horseman on the left. And you have the Morning Star on the right. I use this as a gain staging tool for this rig. So the Morning Star is set at low gain, very low gain. And the Horseman is set at mid gain. So it's just the right amount of gain when it hits the next pedal I'm going to show you later. So it also has two additional modes when you hold the foot switch. You have the Shine and the Silver mode. Yeah, I talked about it in my previous video with the mini core series. But again, the shine mode is for a treble boost on the morning star. And the silver mode adds some more gain to the horseman. So it's really cool. All right, so next is the new X metal core. So it's a high gain preamp pedal with three different high gain amp models. So you have a duo rect, you have a fireman, and you have a VH4. And you can switch in between these models via the toggle switch in the middle. So in my setup, this is the always on pedal. I set it at low gain because I gain stage with the queen of tone. So I put it at near zero at around 10%. Yeah, it's kind of weird that I set a high gain pedal at low gain, but yeah, that's me. Um, So yeah, my favorite preamp on this one is the Friedman because it's really warm, it's really punchy. The Duo Rec also sounds good with leads and the VH4 is really awesome with chuggy rhythms. And the awesome thing about these three preamps is 
you can save different parameters and presets per preamp and it automatically saves each snapshot of the preamp and yeah you basically have three sounds in one pedal it also has onboard IRs so you won't have any problems going to your audio interface or going direct to front of house. Now you can also turn off the IR function if you use an external amp with the whole rig. But in my case, my IR is on because I'm going direct to the audio interface. It also has a desktop editor you can download on the product page where you can import your own IRs. Yes, you can save your own third-party IRs on this baby. Plus, on the desktop editor, you can tweak your presets and save them. You can really chug with it and also get smooth and nice lead tones with it. Next up is the new X Mod Core Deluxe MK2. It's a multi modulation pedal that has eight different types of modulations. The cool thing about this pedal is it, it has an onboard effects loop. Yeah, with the effects loop, you can have two signals in parallel and you can use the tweak knob in alt mode to blend the signal. It also has a three way toggle switch in the middle where you can select which position the loop will be in. It can be pre effects, post effects, or you can put it in parallel. So, yeah, I use it for cleans, but I mainly layer this with my lead sound using a chorus to get a vintage lead vibe. <laughs> Thank you. 
So next we have is the new X Time Core Deluxe MK2. It's a monster delay pedal with seven different delay types and a phrase looper. So yeah, it has different delay types. It has a digital delay, an analog delay, a modulation delay, you have a tape echo, you have a pan delay, which is a ping pong delay, you have a verb delay, and you also have a reverse delay. Yeah, it's really cool and it's really packed. It's also in stereo, you have two outs where you can widen your sound, use the pan delay, ping pong delay, and go crazy with it. It's really cool, but the feature I really love is the smart tap tempo. With other delay pedals, you still need an external tap tempo switch, but here, you just tap on the foot switch repeatedly, and it will automatically detect the tempo or the BPM. The delay I use a lot is the analog delay or bucket brigade delay because it really sounds warm and the repeats wrap around the main sound really nicely. The verb delay is really cool as well. You can get really atmospheric sounds, really nice ambient sounds with it. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> Next we have here is my favorite in the series. This is the new X Verb Core Deluxe. Yeah, it's a reverb pedal with eight different types of reverbs. You have a room reverb, a hall reverb, a plate reverb, a damp reverb, a shimmer reverb, a tremolo verb, and you have a reverb with modulation. It has two outs, so you can have a stereo setup with it. My favorite reverb here is the shimmer reverb. It really sounds cold and it sounds really clean. My favorite feature here in the Verb Core is the Reverb Freeze feature. You can freeze the reverb just by holding on the foot switch. Yeah, it's really awesome if you want to have a synth pad sound effect. It pairs really well with the Shimmer Reverb. <laughs>
What makes these stomp boxes different from traditional stomp boxes is these babies are actually multi-effects modules. Individually, each of these pedals will do a lot for your traditional stomp box rig. Put them together like this and you have a modern monster multi-effects rig. Another really cool thing about these pedals is all of these have USB inputs. So for the metal core, you can connect it via USB to your computer. So you can use the metal core editor software. And the rest, including the metal core, is for firmware updates. So maybe in the future, you have more effects, more features. So yeah, these babies are all set to evolve further in the future. So are these the future of stomp boxes? I don't know, but if they are, the future is sounding really good. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I had fun making this video. I hope you can do me a small favor by hitting the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Oh, and lastly, here's a video of this rig in action with my band. Yeah, I took a video of one of our rehearsals and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.